Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Holland at Marauders podcast. I'm AJ, joined here by my fellow liberators of ancient wonders. Wonders. Relics. Wonders. Oh, you Jamie. almost had it. So close. <laughs> Jamie and Matt, how are you guys doing? I'm good. Doing well. Liberating ancient wonders. And we're joined here once again by our good friend Chad. Chad, That's how are me. you doing? I'm doing good. The Chad's Chad not Matt. in the chat today. I'm Chad not is here today. I, I'm here. We can jump into the stream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somehow they let me in. I don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> it's funny. We we planned we planned out. We, we we kind of have our guests planned out as the season goes. And a couple weeks ago, I talked with Chad, and he gets the gate. He was like, "Oh, I want to come on when Wolf appears." Yeah. Uh, you missed it I'm by a... one week, and you I got did. the you got the alligator episode. I got the hey, gator whoa, 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 whoa! So, so. You got the croc episode. That's a big <laughs> one. Crocodiles. This is a huge it's one, guys. Episode in the season, so. I've I'm been talking excited. about this all season. Croc for Watch Holland... 2024 is over, guys. For Holland at Marauders lore, this is the biggest episode. This like, this, this was this huge. This understand. was the big one. This was the big one. You don't understand, did... but this is the big one. We did just oh, get gosh. back from Pax East a little while ago, so that's why tonight the stream is delayed. If you're listening to us on the podcast or later on, um, that doesn't like, affect you at all. That? So that's, um, that's, that's yeah. the, it's the lore for this episode. That yeah. is, it just adds to the ambiance of it all. But yeah, we were we were at PAX East uh, the first day already, and we are doing a panel on Sunday as well. So if you're local to the Boston area, um, we are doing a panel. Come on, on Sunday. Come Sorry, on Chad, you can't down. come. Um, we're doing a panel on Sunday at three days. p.m. Gotta we unfortunately don't is. know if um, it'll be streamed. But we'll keep you updated about that. So that's that. We'll see. So as we've been doing, we're going to have a question for Chad, a special question to get to know the guests. And this, one this week, them. I had to think very hard um, for a good one. We talked about Lego last week with Alex and Molly. So we're going to stick with the collectibles this week. Mm-hmm. Chad, I know you've become a sucker to the Hot Toys. The They're Hot very, Toys? I think, is that is that Crosshair? It is Crosshair. It is Crosshair. <laughs> Um, I, I had a, I had to bring crosshair down from the shelf to the rifle join me, yeah to join but me in the stream here. I also like your collection of Holland at Marauders merch. There, you have the headband, Jamie's yeah. Pablo Island, thank you, our thank postcard, you. and the that's great. The, the doll thank collectibles. You, you. Those will be worth something someday. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days. One of these days. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for you guys to get big. So they're, they're, Chad they're also has like. Hatches all of our stickers on his water bottle it's it's really yeah now that nice. water bottle's like very faded though so i have to get uh, more need stickers, some new ones so. he yeah. has all we'll of them buy more stickers from, he has the ones that were even taken down yeah so yeah, he, he has like relics he, so you're he gonna is have to sell the liberator that water of ancient wonders yeah, yeah, yeah no kidding unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> so, i can't so. the question for you chad is mm-hmm. um for, pe- for people that don't know what hot toys are and they, it's probably a solid amount of people i know you got into them recently, like in the past couple of years. Tell yeah. us, explain the Hot Toys phenomenon to us. Um, try to sell um, us on Hot Toys. And well, what is your dream Hot Toy? What is what is the one you want to get the most? Uh, all of them, but I'm too poor. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, most they, they dropped Bale and Skull and uh, Shin. And I was like, uh, those look awesome. I want them, but I can't afford them. So, we'll uh, start I mean, a GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah, we're starting to go fund me so Chad can finish the, like <laughs> liberate some finish, ancient wonders yeah, and then maybe get these ancient them. wonders. But uh, so what was the question again? Like, how do I get into it? Corey, <laughs> yeah, like, t- like, Corey was pretend we're it. pretend we're dumb. We, we, I mean, we're don't pretend. Sometimes, sometimes we're no, no. Yeah, don't pretend. <laughs> pretend we know uh, nothing about hot toys. Explain I love how you switched to the background right after you said <laughs> pretend we're dumb. Whoops, let me just. Say. I want the fancy <laughs> background. <on. laughs> let me put the fancy one on. <laughs> So yeah, explain the, fanciest explain for such a the big event. <laughs> explain the hot toys phenomenon to us, and uh, and I said I asked what your your what one you want the most, but like what maybe what's your mm-hmm. favorite one? But answer that uh, at the end. Explain okay. hot toys yeah. to us. Well, um, hot toys they're just twelve inch collectible action figures that cost way a lot of money, and they look really cool, very uh, highly detailed. 
Pull so that helmet just, off. I, I can't. I gotta go put his head because then it's it, it doesn't. It's not like oh, it's a it's separate not like head. A, yeah, it's a separate head. It's uh, not like uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> like well, I think that on and off. that makes sense. Yeah. A lot of people complain that sometimes the helmets scratch the paint off the nose or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's fair. So it's, like, it's a whole separate head. You gotta put, take it off. I'm terrible at like the poses. So they all like half of my figures all have the same like pose, like of them holding Dude, a rifle like this. Just like, I'm I'm also terrible at both poses. <laughs> I follow. Here, maybe I'll a, take like. Here's uh, Juan. He's literally doing the exact thing. <laughs> <laughs> he has a big gun. Crosshair here. So, like, yeah. Who was the bigger gun, Vaughn or Mayday? I mean, uh, Vaughn or Crosshair? <laughs> <laughs> Mayday. I mean, if they made a made of Mayday Hot Toys, I would buy it. But probably Crosshair. I think the sniper is pretty longer. Is yeah. is a bit longer, but yeah, that's about it. But okay. yeah, they're just really cool action figures that cost a lot of money. So. Yeah, I've, I've seen like the Spider-Man ones, and I oh. I always like the Spider-Man ones because they're literally like an armature in like a costume. So like mm -hmm. the fabric, like the literal like suit is a is fabric. So, that's, so it, like I love that. And, like I mean, I mean it's that's like that's over the the figure's body, kinda, which is yeah. nuts. You can kind of see that this is the Anakin figure, or Anakin Clone Wars. I got the Obi Wan coming at some time, but you can kind of do see that. Like that is yeah. What are his I boots love. like his boots are separate material? Obviously, yeah. I like, love that's that. all. That's and especially as point. like you know jamie's the this, big cosplayer here but like that's a cool thing because it's like it's a mini costume for mm -hmm. yeah for the like i mean, so, I mean like the the figures like the the armored figures like the clones <clears throat> and like the stormtroopers and stuff like that like that is like very highly detailed like each piece is separate and can, can break easily so which is very so I'm, annoying <laughs> i'm gonna do that thing where i praise it and then i say something critical about it in a second um <laughs> so I love how most of the hot toys that have like a like fabric costumes like use like the actual like fabrics like in it. It is very cool. That being said, I love the Cobb Vanth one. Um, oh, but I can point out at least three separate issues with the pants that they did incorrect. Only, but two, I'm, only like two I'm the only one. I, I was like, I was like, really trying to get AJ to buy that one. Honestly, I still, I, I was, I'm on the waiting list. Oh, yeah. you are? Well, you should have bought it when you had your chance because you're never getting it. <laughs> uh. That, you know that's what? what happens with these waiting lists. You I'll like get it never get hand. it. You'll know, like oh, you'll pay like a thousand dollars for that then. One day or, the Cobb Van Hot Toy or, will be ours. Or just talk to Corey because somehow he always Corey. If you're listening, and, and I know, know you, you may, you might be. You probably are. You're you're the best. He definitely is. <laughs> Corey, you're the best. Or Hot, to hot Toys. One. Wait, Michael, if you're listening. Oh. And I know you will. Let me know. <laughs> he does. He does a lot. So, so anyway, anyway. Yeah, he's the one. Love Michael. <laughs> so okay good that was a good question for chad solid my, discussion there I, I i still haven't answered my favorite one though yeah yeah, yeah. I, I have them all above my desk here and i'm looking at them all but it's probably and it's a pain in the ass to move but i'm gonna move it anyway the, uh, the clone wars ahsoka or oh, not the clone wars ahsoka, really the ahsoka mandalorian ahsoka the mando ahsoka yeah Ooh, it's probably my favorite fantastic so, does that. the headband come off no the headband doesn't imagine come if it off. did yeah. They'll probably make that one nuts. It's a new spoilers. one that does, right? Uh, yeah, they, I mean, I mean, they have the. Oh, she dropped a lightsaber. Oh Her no! Fell off, but it's okay, cannon. it's hit cannon. She lost a hand. She She's lost just it. Like it. Oh no! Just like it. <laughs> just like it. <laughs> but no, I mean, they do. They did release the like her and her white robes for the Ahsoka show. And yeah. again, I'm just too poor to afford any more of these figures than I already have. Like I'm That's already. Pay, I'm paying off. Uh, I have Wrecker. And, Tech I'm paying off right now. I have the Clone Wars Obi Wan I'm paying off right now. I'm also apparently going to start paying off the Fox figure as well. Commander Fox. Many. There's too many. I'm paying, paying off, off a lot of clones. Oh, I'm, I, I just ordered a lot of clones, and then they released like Phase One Captain Rex, and I was like, I gotta get that because I have Phase One Obi like Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> I got he's I got he's <laughs> well, you all by to, himself. No, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, and, then, and then they released like the the Ahsoka figure like. Pe Apprentice Ahsoka, and I was like, oh, well, you gotta get that one too. You don't even have Yellow Saber Ray. Yeah, well, uh, that's uh, like your that's 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 my holy grail. That's your profile actually. picture. That's my holy grail, actually. But that one, I think they stopped making that figure right mm. or like right when I got into Hot Toys. Dang, oh, so. well, get that the oh. way. Oh, well, so it's Hot Toys, happens. very cool. Look mm -hmm. them up if you don't know about them. They just they just look cool. They just even just looking up the they, pictures they of them. They create loops. Did a whole promotion also. for you, so maybe sponsor us. <laughs> send us a Cub van. Send, send um, us a Cub van. Please. And maybe we'll, please. We'll, please. But anyways, <laughs> tonight's community question is a fun one. Oh boy. 
Um, oh, man. It has to do with uh, color um, association. Color so association. We're going to name the color that comes to mind for each Skywalker <laughs> Saga film. So okay. we're going to start with The Phantom Menace. We'll go counterclockwise, starting with Chad, ending with me up here. And we'll start with Phantom Menace. What color? When I say Phantom Menace, what color comes to Just mind? Just like say the first thing. Yeah. Right Yellow. Okay. okay. Jamie. Uh, orange. Red. Yellow. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Attack of the Clones. <laughs> Back to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, orange. Blue. Blue. White. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Revenge of the Sith. Red. 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 <laughs> Red. <laughs> Red. <laughs> um, a New Hope, Chad. White. Yellow. Purple. The poster's White. purple. The the the, nope. the oh, gray. Okay, no. on poster. Don't... Gray. I'm going gray. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Blue. White. Blue, orange. Okay. <laughs> no, no, right. I love the no explanations. <laughs> there there are no yeah. explanations. We get to that at the, the end. end. The... Um, uh, Return of the Jedi. Green. 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 Purple. What? The poster <laughs> That's was it. purple. Palpatine's chair is purple. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> these ones, I think these next three are going to be interesting. Um, and I we might even have the same one for everyone, but we'll see. Let's go. Uh, Force Awakens. Yellow. 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 <laughs> the Last Jedi. Red. Red. <laughs> Red. Red. <laughs> Rise of Skywalker. Blue. 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 God, <laughs> okay. So, so AJ, was, it's, it's not our was, fault they color coordinated these films. So yeah. was this an analysis based on the logo? Like, was that what you wanted to try to pull out of us here psychologically? Or no. like, what? Yeah, this was a psychological was test. Uh, we're all insane. Is that that, that, that was what I wrote down. I, it's like in Fallout true. when you take the test. <laughs> like, what is this? Yeah. Um, it's, it's an ad. No, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's just the first color that comes to mind. It doesn't have to be the poster. Because there's been a million posters for each mm -hmm. of them, pretty much. Except the sequel trilogy at this point um but the Two sequel trilogy us... one's funny because each each logo had its own color where i don't think the other films really yeah. did that well that's true so. but i will say that for phantom menace we either chose red or yellow and i think that points out a lot because that's like basically darth maul's color scheme and it's also padme's color scheme Although I should have said orbs look more orange on her figure, but there you go. I they're... said orange because of Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks, the bulbous pod racer. I mean, I bulbous pod racer. Yeah, yellow because of like the N ones starfighters. Mm -hmm. like, good, good choice. Or this Anakin's usually, pod. Yeah, or Anakin's pod. My, like usually, my first like thought of like Phantom Menace is always the N one. You can submit mm -hmm. a community question in case anyone's wondering. Um, uh oh. As Jamie yeah. or someone said it in the chat, but yeah, send us a, send us a DM. I should be posting them on our story on Instagram or something, like so people can just comment them. Um, but you can email us or DM them or whatever you want. Email Dis Discord. You can do it in the Discord community. Pretty much, just ask the question and say, "Hey, this is a community question." <laughs> send yeah. us a Telegram. Yeah, there you but go. Like an actual Telegram. Like an actual. Pigeons. Yeah. Send send a raven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it sometime soon. So yeah, I thought that was pretty fun. Um, any other analysis of 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 that, Matt, for you? Let's see. No, purple. we all picked red, purple for a new hope. I stand by that because that, first of all, the all of the like the poster, the Drew Struzan poster mm -hmm. had purple. The cover for the DVD re-releases of A New Hope had purple in the background. So you were going off um, of like posters well, and DVDs, right? I'm I mean, going off what, of what like it? I've seen of the movie. Oh, I don't... that one was blue. I was thinking of the, the, the Faces version. The Faces version is blue. Mm -hmm. What's the Faces version? Of the, the it's like the last like original cut of the of the original trilogy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it's, um... it, it's got like a Stormtrooper face, Darth Vader and Yoda. That's what's called the Faces, right? Yeah. The Stormtrooper, isn't that Empire, no stormtrooper. That, that's a new hope. A new hope. That's funny. Yeah. Empire. Oh, right. All the faces to pick. Yeah. 
and then you and then they put Yoda on the Return of the Jedi one. <laughs> He's yeah, in the movie for like less than five minutes. I know. I chose white things. for Attack of the Clones because the clones' armor is white. I almost did like purple Django. or blue because of Django. But... Just blue because of Django and Kamino. And all, Kamino. And all that. Yeah. yeah. Blue's, for, blue's I, for that. Like I always say, uh, Attack of the Clones is the ultimate rainy day movie. So I always think of water and like mm -hmm. cloud. Water is blue. I mean, water is usually. Blue. It's clear. You I, are I, correct. I mean, <laughs> no, water is technically blue. Yeah. Oh, when, when I think of uh, Attack of the Clones, I always think of Geonosis, though. So it's like, oh, yeah, it's orange. Oh, like, that's funny. Okay. I like that explanation. Yeah, most of the stuff, most of the ancillary material for Attack of the Clones is set on Geonosis. Mm -hmm. So that makes mm -hmm. sense. It's just like the movie itself that has Camino in it. Um, I'll go green for actually, he's blue screen. So I'll say blue. Yeah. I was going to say green screen. Sweet. Uh, speaking blue. of Camino, um, do you have any other burning things to say about this color analysis or can we jump into the episode? <laughs> we can jump in. <laughs> Let's jump to the episode. Was burning analysis supposed to be the we'll, thing, speaking of Camino, the connection? We'll be jumping no, in. No, the, the connection into was the closed. Water. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, right. So uh, this week was an episode of The Bad Batch, which is why this we're streaming huge. tonight. So if you're still here after these 15 minutes of um, us no talking about room. absolute nonsense <laughs> no, thank of you of nothing important um <laughs> this is actually an episode about stuff. the bad batch so uh spoilers ahead for season three episode eight of the bad batch uh bad territory so the swamps uh, man they went to the swamp so Here matt go, already guys. said like it literally just going to the swamp I, I gotta I gotta get it over with really quickly and gotta say I love how they literally threw in there oh you can't take your helmets off on this planet because the air is toxic and so mm. they literally were like we're not animating Hunter's hair wet that I'm just like <laughs> they literally were like we have to say the air is toxic he can't take his helmet off cheating cheating that's we, all we I have to say about the episode we, we don't want to animate this guy's hair it's that already a mess it's already a mess we got that's why you know, when he, he takes that's it why. off we gotta we gotta make it wave in the we wind. Were, we were this it's close. Too much, it's too much of a mess. We can't. We, we can't. We, we, we were We've close. never seen Hunter's hair wet. No. No. <laughs> it rains on Camino, did. though. What observation. Yeah, but, it, but I guess he's never, never outside. They're, they're never outside on Camino. Boiled it. Yeah, there, there's this there's time. I mean, like in the first episode when they come Wait back a minute. For, for they swam Omega. in season one finale. Yeah, yeah but, but you his don't hair see was. It. But he's wet. When he had the. He had Marty McFly's jacket on his head and it dried. Believe me when I say. On behalf of all of the clone girlies, Hunter's hair has never been like soaking wet on the show. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> what um, makes soaking hair uh, like attractive? I don't know. I don't want to get into it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious because I don't particularly uh, find soaking wet hair attractive. You don't? Man? Come on, no, man. You're it's too see, stringy. You're missing out. You're missing out, greasy. man. There's the Kylo Ren coming out of the cascading water in Rise of Skywalker. That's, that's what it looks like to look. me that's all the look. time, and that's I don't. Look. I think that looks like funny, that, not like that's that's sexy. Kylo Ren's best look, honestly. Fair Let's enough. just move on. I knew this this conversation. Have you ever gotten any, like I, Aragorn like, wet hair? Oh it's yeah, it's like that. It, that's exactly yeah, what it would be like. In Helm I, I can see it. I can see it there. And Helm yeah, Steve, I guess you, I can. You got like wet hair in his hair. Oh, he falls in like the big puddle. Yeah. But if we're talking about wet, anyway, you know what was wet. Crocodile. These crocs. <laughs> Matt, Can did you we... know that the species have a name? They do. They do. So, uh, so the concept arts and the episode uh, break breakdown like went up today, right? Uh, the they are. Hang on, I just had it. They're called Grizards. 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 <laughs> Grizards. G r y z a r d. Grizards. So, Grizards. So they're like lizards, but gry. I don't know what that yeah. means. I don't know what yeah. grime means. Look at, look at him. Dude, look, look at that. I look at that dude. Best nude. That's Concept a stout ass Meng. croc. That is that is literally just a crocodile. He kind of looks like a, the head kind of looks like a, the Pokemon uh, Cubone that wears the skull. It yeah. kind of looks like that. Wow. Like <laughs> Which that. we didn't even see because it was so dark. But uh, we'll get into that. Anyway. Let's there go back to the beginning so of the episode. There were so many crocodiles. Okay, fine. I got, I got right. the thing off my chest. We got the thing off your chest, but we'll get back to your thing because that's we'll actually important. Um, so how did this episode start? This episode started with uh, them on Pabu, right? Yeah. And they were yeah. waiting peaceful for... Pabu. Omega yeah, peaceful Pabu. Omega was waiting for a response from Echo. 
which uh-huh. was heartbreaking. He's he's busy. I I love how uh, Crosshair is just like, you know, staring at it's not going to like make it happen any faster. Like I love every single one of their interactions, and they had a lot of top tier ones this week. Um, but I love all of that and the conversation, the quick one that they have of, oh, we're getting a transmission from Fee. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, Crosshair obviously doesn't know who she is still, which is weird that she that he hasn't met her yet, but. Whatever, we'll get to that. But um, she's been away. It's been a couple she's, weeks. She's been away. She's she's processing her own way, right? Clearly grieving. Um, Clearly. Exactly. In her own way, which is just another method of dealing with loss. Um, but with everything with Omega just saying, Oh, she's a liberator of ancient wonders, and she says it with like the magic fingers and crosshair just gives her the biggest, like, just like <laughs> dead eye stare, just like what what even is Dude, that? What uh, is <laughs> what is that supposed to be? <laughs> then crosshair. He, she, and then a pirate been, like, he just like walks away. Character. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even like nod he doesn't say like okay or uh-huh he just walks away <laughs> he would have been my Perfect. voted top character for this episode if the crocs weren't in it i'm just spoiling that now <laughs> oh it's a spoiler uh, yeah but spoiler he alert. oh my god yeah. there the both times that he was like who <laughs> and, 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 and they have to like explain things to him and he's just like oh okay like it's just great like, cro- crosshair's interactions in this episode were probably my favorite in the whole season so far mm. i love crosshair just like mm-hmm. getting used to getting back in the shuffle and, and just like catching up with everything he's missed and being like uh what's oh, yeah. going on he's like what's going on what is this what are you talking about uh, okay if you highlight say so. of the season so far is just, oh absolutely you know crosshair we, we, has, has been the highlight we keep talking about our character of the week thing that we do and how at the end we're going to tally it up. But like we already know like Crosshair is going to win that probably. Unless there's just like some crazy comeback from, you know, Omega or, or Hunter. I don't or something, I don't know. something that a, kept us off guard. There's a, there's the a character in this episode that's top tier. So. You're right. The big True. old bug guy. No, we'll, we'll get not that guy. We'll get, that we'll guy. get to that, that guy. guy. was probably big my least favorite part. Bug guy. I love this, big old bug guy. I love This bug episode guys. was literally written for Matt Holland and Marauder. Like, I'm oh, not even kidding. Oh, yeah. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. I love big old bug guys. I love big old crocodiles. I've been looking <laughs> forward to that forever. Like AJ and I have like jokingly been saying to Matt, we're like, do you like even like like the season like that much this season? And Matt's just like, yeah, yeah, I like the season. And then this episode <laughs> sold it. That was it. This, this was, was the one. <laughs> not like one. last I'm week. Soaring. No, I'm so no, not not last week with <laughs> the best, like with some of the best characters ever mm. in Star uh, Wars. Until <laughs> this episode. Until, I guess until this episode. <laughs> they should have grabbed one of the Gators to have with them on their team as well. Honestly. Dude. Thatcher yeah. and the Gator. I, can just I keep, explain keep how grabbing disappointed animals. I was that they didn't bring okay, the crocodile so, on their ship? There's no way that they would have, first of all, because uh, no. Probably can't breathe the air outside of the planet. <laughs> uh, probably goes both there you ways. Go. But they could give him a mask. They could give him a mask, a little <laughs> little like oxygen tank on his back, and he's just sitting there in the back the whole time. Can't open his mouth to like, because because crocodiles they like open their mouths to cool themselves off, but he can't do that. So he's just like really hot all the time, and he's sitting there like this. This stinks. <laughs> just kill me. But he's like just sitting in the back like this is awful. <laughs> That would just um, be torture. <laughs> anyway, so they're on Pabu. If uh, Fi reaches out to them and she does more research for them, and they they casually throw around, oh, uh, the info about the M count, and they're like, oh, we need someone who might know, maybe a bounty hunter, and then they just bring up Fennec Shand, the only which, one like, they who? apparently remember. <laughs> yeah, um, and which like we know she was gonna be in the show based on the trailers and whatnot, but I'm super super excited to like see her back again, just to at least be in like this like one off episode. I think that this. Uh, this performance of uh, this episode with uh, Fennec Shand with Ming Na Wen, the incredible Ming Na Wen, um, was even better than it was in season one. Mm, like, yeah. I love this episode totally. so much. This was like, yeah. Fennec has like hit her stride and she is like, this this was it. Like, like she was really good. <laughs> while we were watching, my dad turned to me, he goes, yeah, that really does sound like Fennec Shand. I said, yeah, it is. <laughs> it always has been. <laughs> it's Ming Na Wen, dude. It's still Ming Na Wen. No, it's no, been- no. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this bounty hunter that they said their her name like Fennec two Shand. Seconds in the episode. Who else have they met? They met like Cad Bane. Yeah, Cad Bane would be the only other like they weren't going to go to Cad Bane. Did. I guess they did, and be like, "Hey, Cad, can you help us out? Hey, hey <laughs> Cad, remember me? You shot me. Yeah, do I imagine like? they've met others. I mean, the way, through Clone Wars, <laughs> Fennec like Loki like beat up the entire Bad Batch as well on her own. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but. 
Cad Bane is he's a jerk. He's like the biggest <laughs> jerk in the galaxy. This is true. Um Fee getting the call from or they called Fee, right? Mm-hmm. It reminded me no, a lot of yeah. No, she called you she, no, called, she them. called them. Oh, so they were already like on the on yeah. the call. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of like Maz talking with um Rose, Poe, and Finn in Last Jedi. Yeah. Like to hook them up with someone mm-hmm. else. Trying to get information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so also a pirate. She talks about the code breaker. Also a pirate, calling are pirates, you... getting code breakers slash bounty hunters. Are you Literally. saying Maz Kanata in the Bad Batch when? Honestly. Man. Uh, hopefully in the next you heard it here six first. weeks because the show's <laughs> hopefully in the <laughs> next so we got six less. weeks. We're running out of time. <laughs> That's who oh Fennec was ca- uh, calling. No, Maybe. Kidding. Maybe <laughs> at the end. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, and the voice was like, she was like, I got a, a labor dispute. Have I told you about my sexual adventures with the code breaker? <laughs> um, but yeah, I love how uh, they, they decided to do the little executive dishes decision to split up um, in which Hunter pretty much tells Omega watch Crosshair, not the other way around. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. I love that. And to look at um, his hand. Yes, yeah. finally. Yeah. Like, we, they kind of confirmed what we already knew because I didn't think it was like an actual injury. I, or yeah, it's probably an actual injury, but you know, it's a psychological yeah in, injury. You know, yeah. So I guess let's let's look at that plot first of uh, Omega and Crosshair. We'll follow that a little bit more. Um, so I love how Az does like all the analysis, and Az is Az about it. So he's like very like to the point of all the stuff, and like mm. I just I love. It just reminded me so much of back in like season one and like the first episode when he's like, I have news for all of you. You're defective clones. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I love AZ, but like mm. I loved this moment in which he is checking Crosshair and Crosshair gives him the sass of being like, oh, so you telling me it's psychological? And AZ's like, yeah, of course it's psychological. I could have told you that. There's literally nothing else wrong with you. Um, like it's, it's just perfect. Um, there he is. But best droid. He is the best droid. Bet you're glad, bet you're glad you showed up for this week's Hollow, Hollow Net Live. Hollow Net Marauders Live. <laughs> Matt, you didn't even go to PAX today. And how, how are you like, losing it? Uh, it's been a long day. It's been a long it's week. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, but yeah, uh, Omega and Crosshair and Pabu. Um, and then Omega immediately like knows to knows how to like work through more so like an inner healing to like find that because she had that moment last season with Gunji, right and yeah. mm-hmm. she immediately is just like okay well the medical clinical side of things isn't working let's go try this out instead and crosshair has nothing to lose and he really likes omega so he's not gonna like say no so i love how he's immediately just there like trying to help her out or trying to accept her help i mm. loved all of that and he's helping her out by letting her help him out exactly yeah yeah help me help you it's help a, you, help me help you. It's a, giving her like a little Little-er. confidence as well. Of um, it's almost as though the like, crosshair is the one that treats her the most um adult or the most um responsible. Like the others, yeah. like or like they don't necessarily treat her as having like a lot of responsibility because they're just like, oh, she's just a kid. Crosshair is like, no, you can like take care of yourself and like I'll listen to like what you have to say because it actually like makes sense. Um, and I That's love that. That's a good point. Him. And uh, something I thought was funny in this episode was later when they're on like the, the fan boat speeder, uh, Wrecker's like, even Omega got away from you. I'm like, Omega's like, I don't know, it's kind of a diss at Omega. I know she's been, she's a kid, even though she's older than them, um, which is always very strange. Uh, but he's like, like Omega's very capable. Of course, of course, she got away from Fennec Shan, sort of. But um, Can I say Omega, Omega's best moment in this episode was definitely when when crosshair misses and she's like that's okay you're still she, she what does she say that's okay you're still useful or what does she say you're still <sighs> capable than most capable you're still capable yeah. more capable than most yeah. and i was just like oh my god that's so omega that's mm. like the most omega line possible i know yeah she's, she's so always optimistic she's yeah just always the most the optimistic and like they're just like the wholesome she's just like the embodiment of like just wholesomeness yeah you know yeah yeah, I mean, Crosshair definitely has like some PTSD of some sort. No, like, for sure. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> a, a lot of it, actually. Just a, lot. Just a little. So. And we just know there's going to be lot. this like big moment he comes through coming mm. up because like they're I mean, they're helping him through this, so you know it's gonna it's gonna pay off at yeah, some point. Yeah, at some point it, it will probably pay off near the He's end. He's gonna of shoot the Palpatine's theory. head off. 
actually. <laughs> oh my god. It, it, it's it's better Palpatine clone all along. This is a big deal, guys. Imagine <laughs> that though. Like, first. I mean imagine if they do like successfully like it, it, I know it's not true, but like what if they like did like successfully like clone him and like the original like died and the entire time it was a clone the, the whole time like like through the ot it was a clone i've got an idea <laughs> so next episode it's going to be revealed actually that one mm. of the crocs was stowed away on their ship and yeah. it's gonna it's gonna follow them all the way to tantus and it's gonna get mm -hmm. cloned and there's gonna be like a ton of croc clones and then all he's gonna have place. to shoot them he's I've gonna got, have to shoot yeah. them all Yep, uh, blind it happening. The Crocs will help you blindfold. I see it happening. I see it. No, happening. the Crocs yeah. are the bad guys. The Crocs. The Crocs are actually the real villains. All right. Yeah. One million Crocs or the Zillow Beasts. Who uh, one million. One crocs. million Crocs. Those guys can gonna, bite. I'm gonna go Zillow Beast. <laughs> it's one of those. Yeah. Because the moment they bite the Zillow Beast, the Zillow Beast is gonna be like, oh god, I'm gonna fight harder. So. But there's a million of them. That's a lot. That's like a. That's like more that's than a, a swarm number. of bees. You've that's, seen the Zillow Beast. That's a swarm of Crocs. That's a big, that's a lot. They can't fly, though. They'll just be nipping at his feet. They'll be nipping at his feet. Take him down. As soon as he they'll falls down, him. he's done. They'll, they'll swarm take, him. They'll take out his ankles, and then, you know, he'll fall down, and then they'll get him. The so, you know? runs on what? Electricity? Or, like, it, I mean. It, like, I likes, it, it, it likes to consume. It consumes it. It doesn't right. run yeah. on it. It's yeah. not, like, an engine. <laughs> <laughs> the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the Energizer Zilla Beast. <laughs> <laughs> was there anything else on Pabu aside from um, the absolutely incredible like shot at the end, which was yeah. again one of the best shots of, in the entire show? It's probably my favorite scene in the entire show. And I'm not. Yeah. I I am a sunset connoisseur. I think I said that to you once in the car, AJ, and you were like, "What the hell are you talking about?" <laughs> but I am. But I, am. I, mean, like, I, kinda, I love. You made sunsets. me take a picture. You made me take a selfie with you after mini golf with the sunset in the back, which I thought was a little strange. But and then and then while we were driving, it was like a really good sunset. That was like casting a shadow like on the clouds. It was like after it rained, and I was like, "Oh, hold on, yeah. I gotta take a picture of this." I love sunsets. Sunsets are nice. I mean, so seeing us, seeing them like meditating, watching a sunset. That's like that's it. That's like well, everything. We know I that kind of does that. Uh, Luke at that, the end of the Last Jedi. <laughs> there's a lot of Last Jedi. I mean, a, a Luke and things in uh, this. I feel in a New Hope. Although I, I wouldn't I say he's hope. meditating. No, he's. Everybody, just, He's, just he's doing the exact at, opposite. He's kicking he's rocks. Everybody likes to stare at the sun. Staring, staring, at, staring at it. <laughs> everybody's staring at the sun. Hey, everybody's going to be staring at the sun April 8th. Get ready, guys. <laughs> it's going to go. Coming. Don't <laughs> stare too close. It's going to disappear for a minute. Don't um, actually. I can't. I, I just quickly, la last thing on Crosshair and Omega. Probably not the last thing, but no, I'm not the, the connection back to Gunji. I feel like there's been so many great callbacks this season which of course it's it's all mm -hmm. the same show but like they've done such a good job at connecting small things that we kind of thought were over with yeah the gunji thing um i feel like they've it mentioned gunji a couple like, times cohesive yeah it's the i mean the the storytelling and the everything in the, about this show is just because really if you think about much. it if crosshair does pull off some kind of like amazing shot that's going to save the bad batch then we could say that Gunji saved the Bad Batch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because Gunji taught Omega meditation. She taught him a meditation, and then he learned how to shoot again. Roland Tall. Duran saved the Bad Batch. That's it. He, he and, helped get it yeah. rolling. <laughs> roll. Did. Oh, roll. Oh, oh, I did God. not mean to make that joke at all, but it just kind of happened. Um. Can I say I'm very disappointed that she called him Gunji, though? It's Gunji. It's her accent. Which she also go. says everything. She also really. says, like, tick. Yeah. And crosshair. Cross I uh, the you know, one, Omega. one more thing Omega. about <laughs> one more thing about that little conversation. So like the Omega says that she learned it from him and to the Wookiees on Kashyyyk and whatnot. And Crosshair, the the look that Crosshair gives her of just like you've been to Kashyyyk, like yeah, that, was, that was such a good look. And that's also good for if you know you know the mm -hmm. the the long lost episodes now of the Kashyyyk mission. So now it's just like oh hey hey it exists. He's like I haven't even been to Kashyyyk. <laughs> No, he's... <laughs> that you know of that you know of but yeah i, I like that that was a good little throw it in there um but yeah hunter and wrecker so let's let's switch over to their little side mission the so big oves. Can, we, can we talk about the best <laughs> the character in this episode yeah. though the the rodian no the, the pit, pit droid, droid? The pit droid oh, the bartender, bartender. Oh, yeah. bartender. Yeah. the bottle was with bigger that, than him with and he had hat. hat he had a hat on <laughs> Pit was droid with a hat. There was so many so pit droids good. in this episode. There was, so many there was. Droids. yeah, great. I love pit droids. They're my favorite. They're 25th my favorite anniversary. Droids, but... Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yes. 
25th anniversary, it all goes back to the Phantom Menace, ladies and gentlemen. That, that is, and that count is it. And count and droids. That's there true. There you go. This, um, is, this was all Phantom Menace. But yeah, so this bar was called Tanda's. Who's Tanda? Okay. I don't know. Maybe no, it was the droid. The droid. Um, <laughs> but it was, uh, so the spaceport was over the planet Surya. So this was all in like the visual notes mm-hmm. released the day later. They didn't say it in the show, but the it's over the planet Surya. It no, it says it's a spaceport above the planet. The well, planet I, is the spaceport was pe- pretty cool because that was the like spaceport. its own like bizarre. I love the space I, bazaars. It doesn't Seattle. have a name, but it gave me huge vibes of where they discovered Gu- Gunji um, back in season two, which was uh, yeah. I look I ended up looking into that. That was a Vanguard Axis like ran space station. This is not that space mm-hmm. station. It's a totally different one. Mm. But similar enough. Um, I love the expansion of space stations in Star Wars because we haven't yeah. actually seen a lot of them. We no. don't see any of them in the original trilogy. The Bad Batch has given us two already. Dude, I mean, yeah. And then we got like the rings of Kefreen in mm-hmm. Rogue One. That was yep. great. Um, and then they that. name drop another one in this episode. Um, Ordo Eris and yep. Haxian Brood. Oh, yeah. 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 That was Guys. great. We got our Fallen Order reference. It it took me a minute. It (laughs) took me a minute because they said Haxian Brood and I was sitting on my couch. I was like, Haxian Brood, I know that name. What is that? You're damn right. You Google. Oh, that's who they are. (laughs) So, yeah. So once they enter the conversation, like with Fennec, um, she mentions that this guy that they're going after, his nickname is the Slayer of Ordu Iris, um, which is he like killed a bunch of Haxian Brood guys there, which is where um, Cal has the big fight in Fallen Order. Mm -hmm. So Cal you is know, the new slayer first... of that place. Yeah, he <laughs> he becomes the the new slayer after yeah. after this guy. Uh, the was that a space station? Down that was that. Game. It's in like an asteroid. It's an asteroid. It's That's an right. Yeah, okay. it's more like Ring of Kafreen type space station. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool though. I, I, I like the 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 indoor bazaar look. I really like when people are walking around selling goods uh, mm-hmm. inside indoors. Show to why over here. <laughs> Do back stew. Do you back stew. Do you back stew. We still have to beat that game. We do. <laughs> for the stream. <laughs> they beat it, they beat it before. Oh, I've been, been, been waiting to see how this game ends for like the past you. month and a half. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to beat it on the twenty fifth anniversary. So. There you yeah. go. That's the plan. That's the um, plan. In the theater. But yeah, in the in the bar, love the pit droid. I love how he's no nonsense and smashes a bottle over someone's head because there's a bar fight like that's just pit droids are like top tier comedy as it out. is yeah he, yep. he that guy was done and then the droid bouncers like came in and are just like there he goes again <laughs> <laughs> taking people out with bottles again um but yeah so they chat with fennec and fennec sasses them so hard like it's it's so she good was, like she was a bona fide sass man she had all the leverage they had yeah definitely did. Mm-hmm. It's it's so good. And then she also just realizes how desperate the two of them are um, in that moment. And she's like, all right. I mean, if you're going to she and she, I love how she auto also immediately realizes that they have no money, like mm-hmm. none. These guys, not a single credit between them. And she's like, OK, in. I guess we're going to have to do something else. And she immediately thinks of like one of her toughest jobs that she's never been able to complete herself. And she's like, all right, we'll give it a shot with these two guys. Um <laughs> It's it's such it's such a power move. I love Fennec so much. Like she Fennec awesome. Just so good. Um, and it's it's great watching her make these two guys do a bunch of odd jobs for her, knowing that in the future she's gonna be like the odd jobs person now. She's gonna be like yeah. the assassin yeah. who like yeah. takes she, care of business while she while Boba just sits her, sits around with his helmet full of credits, getting his butt kicked by a bunch of shield guys. She's going to be a different clones odd jobs person. Yeah, dude, no kidding. Exactly. I didn't even think of that, but that's hilarious. She's been, oh, she must be so sick of that face. She must be so sick of that face. Has she seen, did Hunter and Wrecker? Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they took their helmets off on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. also, she w- also would have saw like Hunter's face when he was in that civilian. You want me to uniform? go back to season right. one and talk about yeah. that episode? It's one of my favorite episodes that I've seen oh, way right. too many times. I mean, they literally the first time he sees Hunter, he's in the green mm. outfit. Of course, the green outfit. Of course, of course. Um, let's talk about Bug Guy. Oh yeah, big <laughs> oh, yeah. old Bug Guys. Love so him. I could barely uh, see him. We'll, we'll get so to that. Back per the uh, per the uh, breakdown ep- episode breakdown, it says that this guy. So his name was um. I already forgot his name was Siler Saris. Um, Siler Saris is of a newly created insectoid type species, although it's assumed to be a subspecies of the Yamri, which um, is like one of the praying mantis type 
alien seen in the cantina yeah. in a new hope yeah. um so it's similar to that guy but it's not that kind of guy and it's not dr mandible i don't know what kind of guy he is <laughs> <laughs> another dr. mantis toboggan <laughs> i forgot about mantis toboggan Ooh. a holonet creation yeah do you remember? <laughs> i do barely but i remember i have to, go, we have to go through those one day one day uh, holonet lore Pendium. but yeah so new bug guy matt what are your mm -hmm. thoughts on bug guy love bug guy. i mean I'm, I'm a big bug guy fan just in general love when there's a big old alien standing in front of you and you're supposed to act like he's not like a giant weird ass bug uh people in the star wars galaxy have a lot better manners than i do because i don't know how i would handle that uh this guy was pretty freaky i wouldn't want to tangle with this guy but i wonder what his like kin are like i wonder if they have like regular jobs i wonder if one of them like runs a hardware store or something and you have to go in and be like uh where you sell the lug nuts and this thing's like <laughs> Like, like, what the hell is the yeah, matter yeah, with that's you, That's exactly dude? what happens. It, it has used to. It, though. And that's, again, that's... These people have to act like this is normal. <laughs> they have to act yeah. like that's just a normal interaction. <laughs> and big, dude, bug guys, they always provide that kind of thoughts for me. I'm just like... You know what this reminds me of? It. So it reminds me of um, in Solo, not to get too off the rails, but when they're mm -hmm. in one of the games... Um, Therm Scissor ha Punch? Therm Scissor Punch. Yes, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. It's uh, Han says it's uh, someone else at the table, and he's like... All you, like eyes oh. on your own cards, buddy. Oh yeah, the, the all of them because you, you see like oh, the, the other eye dude. like the other swivel to like the, the side. The multiple yeah. eyes. Yes, it was the other so guy with like the multiple like stalks. He had like eyes on his. Yeah, yeah so it's like that. Moving, it's he's like eyes. Matt, on make the card. make the bug guy them. sound effect again. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Term scissor punch. That's what he sounds. Lucas, don't call me. I can do voices. Term scissor punch. That's what he sounds like. Oh my gosh. Um. Right, so uh, Fedek is like, all right, you guys are going to go help me turn in a bounty. So they go, and it's this gaseous planet, right? I already, what was the name of the planet? I don't know if that got announced. Um, it was named, um, I thought you said, oh, yeah, no. The, the, the species planet. was named, Bayou. I don't know. Named Louisiana. <laughs> I like Bayou. <laughs> Bayou. Is that like Dayu? Yeah. Lola yeah, there yeah. you go. We're going to name it that. Um, but yeah, they, they get on the planet. Uh, I love, okay. So something that happened like on the trip, like Wrecker, like literally says a hunter, like he's like, some, he's, he's concerned. I love how this entire season has been a lot of Wrecker trying to keep Hunter in check because he's out, out there making kind of irrational decisions about just like the future and just like their well being. And I'm a little concerned. I'm, I'm a little concerned. Like this was like a big, like a Wrecker kind of character episode for me as well. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's like a lot of like really good Wrecker moments in this in which he was yeah. like mm -hmm. shown more of his like a uh, deep thought side of just like making sure everything actually was okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and also just his like absolute confidence like early on when Fennec is just like, oh, you're the demolitions expert, right? And Wrecker's like, oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's me. Yeah, what? like to blow shit up. He's What's literally just standing there like, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you know all of these characters are coming into their own, like completely and totally. Not that they weren't yeah. like great before, but like mm -hmm. this season, they're everybody's peaking. been shining. Like they're, yeah. they're each characteristic really comes through. <laughs> Record, you, thank you for reminding me because I'd forgotten. Record had some great moments in this episode. He was what a... whining left and right. I love the I love when they were whining outside Phoenix cockpit, and they're just it's really dark. Also, again. And they're just whining. They're like, oh, we'll tell her. We'll tell her. I don't know what they're saying. And then all of a sudden the door opens. She's right there. And they're like, oops. Uh, hey, Fennec, how's it going? <laughs> she's, she's literally like, I heard you the entire time. I heard they're both word. just like, mm. we, we actually <laughs> see We actually see Hunter do his job for like once. <laughs> like, yeah. One of the yeah. Yeah. few times he actually does his job. Try oh, yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah, he's a little he, rusty at first, but yeah, he, he got he's there. He's like, oh, well, shit, how do I use this power again? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a really though. good dad. I don't know how to use my powers, though. <laughs> he's, he's had a bit of a lapse. Um, but yeah, I loved them getting to the planet. More pit droids, like, and they try to, like, hustle Fennec, and she immediately is just, like, ready to, like, throttle one of them just to get, like, the good, like, price um, on these, like, funny, like, boats. And then they're off. They're in the bayou. And... Mm -hmm by you there's some yeah. mine yeah i what? so what it's, happens it's when they go into the bayou guys huh what are we, what are we gonna talk about oh, wow. there's gonna there's gonna be mines and so they have to deal with these mines which uh -huh. hunter managed to track down before you know um anything happened and then wrecker disables all of them right uh and then <laughs> and, and then, then, then and then the grizards here we go hey. guys crocodiles they it's croc time <laughs> Croc time, baby. Dude, I was so 
I was so excited. I would do as soon as they landed on the swamp planet. I was like, this is it, guys. This is what I've been waiting for. Crocodiles all the way. <laughs> I was so excited. My dude, I to tell you how much I've been talking about these crocodiles. My mom turned to me mid episode. And she's like, the crocodiles. And I'm like, yeah, mom. She's like, how'd you know the crocodiles? I'm like, you talk about it off the, the stream also. You're, yeah, you're yeah just... I did. I, I had brought it up off the stream. You just look at her just like, uh, I know. Crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was big this 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 was a big moment for me croc watch 2024 i wasn't sure how far we'd get but what was this episode seven episode eight eight, eight. episode eight episode eight we were eight episodes in that's pretty good that's pretty good that's not bad not bad so how do you feel about the fate of the crocodiles here our grizards couldn't, couldn't couldn't believe it they're they, i mean what do you mean None you couldn't them. believe it? Of course, Wrecker was going to like manhandle like the crocodiles. No, I, I, come, I, I come seriously on. thought one of the crocodiles was just going to eat them. I thought I thought that was it. I thought that was it for the Bad Batch. I thought Done we so. would hit the crocodiles. They were all de- they were all done. Um, the right, rest of the show <laughs> would just be like Omega and Crosshair. That's it. <laughs> Hanging out. Um, I thought that was going to be the big shock. I had a lot of predictions about the crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe none of them came true. Mm. none are, of the crocs you... died though as far as we know none of the crocs no, no, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure hunter killed one he yeah. probably killed one hunter blasted one like <laughs> watching record wrestle one of the crocs one. was really cool like yeah. literally like, it was a nice sequence turning off my irony mode for a minute like that was cool i was like oh this is i freaking love record like watching him wrestle crocodiles like the freaking crocodile <laughs> hunter <laughs> steve, <laughs> regular a... steve Irwin with the with the accent and everything he absolutely chucked one and like the yeah. shot was like the front yeah. of the boat and i'm like he just he barely missed the boat and it went like right under <laughs> i love that yeah that was one great. was like crawling its way up and um he just chucked it Boom. um but yeah, yeah i love the entire like sequence of all of that like they're approaching and then fennec mm-hmm. starts sniping the ones from behind and then they deal with the other ones and they nearly make it back to the boat hunter gets chomped and we almost thought he was done for but he wasn't um, I, I also I'm just like fascinated as well with like what the technology is of their helmets underwater. Like <laughs> they're, 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 they're permanent. Seal. I'm just fascinated. They, they... Star Wars helmets make no sense, and you just no, don't, don't think about it. Like they couldn't breathe like, though. I know I noticed that. Like they the main the Mandalorian. I don't think so. Randomly, just like oh hey, I can just vacuum seal my helmet and then just pull fascinated. It off pull it off and you look at on the other side and it doesn't make any sense there's no, no. vacuum seal for your for his neck none of these make any sense it makes no sense, sense. It makes no sense. They, they have, some of them have like nos so, like air tubes makes no sense my my theory i don't think they could breathe under underwater with them but my theory is like they filter out toxins mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. the storm like the same force yeah. awakens yeah but it needs oxygen to go in to breathe so mm-hmm. so like when you're underwater i don't know there you what, go ox- you ox- can breathe ox- oxygen space. can't come through we they, cracked they've it. been shown to breathe in space or at least yeah. like be um, able to exist in space for yeah we're thinking about time. this too hard what i'm sorry i brought space? it up phase I've one seen, uh, clone wars clone wars they three. do it in rebels yeah you're probably but right let's, episode, let's... episode two actually I think. two or three yeah yeah there have been plenty of stormtroopers and clone troopers in space so I, I don't know i don't couple, know couple phase two trope phase one troopers without any ax- oxygen going to their helmets just hanging out in outer space old boost and sinker i think it was Bruce you would know. Sinker. You're the, you would know, you're the clone Mr. guy. Wolfpack. I, I love the wolf pack. All right. <laughs> Those two guys just hanging out in outer space without any oxygen. But hey, the clone That's pilots. That's right. The, clo- the phase one clo- clone pilots have to have oxygen in their helmets. Makes no sense. Yeah, Who that's cares? true. They have like a little tube. What, yeah, what is the, going on? <laughs> they have the tubes. Like the, the phase one pilots have the tubes coming in the back, right? How many tubes do they have? Two tubes. Hey, <laughs> shout out to two tubes. Shout, shout, shout out to anyway. two tubes. Anyway, 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 so uh, they, they find out the crocodiles and then they track down Bug Guy. And of course, Bug Guy is just like in the corner, like What's like a name? spider. Silver Surfer. Silver 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 Saris? Oh, yeah. Close yeah, enough. Silver Saurus. Um, he's just like in the corner. And like, I love how <laughs> Hunter has his and I'm being watched like moment. <laughs> yeah. <just> like, <laughs> I feel like somebody wants to sell me something. <laughs> it's it's right. great um i love that entire like sequence and he like goes through the ground and whatnot and like escapes and um him and wrecker are just like doi doi just like chasing him <laughs> around telling fennec oh he got away and fennec is just like hmm, no um i love that it's like literally like fennec knew exactly what was going to happen like if they mm-hmm. found him in his little house and it worked out and that's why she's not even <laughs> siler salas's house yeah no. i thought <laughs> i thought he was a snake at first i didn't, I didn't think it was him 
But I was like, I thought it was just another monster on their trek that was attacking them. And I thought a snake was like taking out Hunter. Yeah, I, I thought like, oh, there was like, I was like, oh, it's the guy. Holy I thought there was like face. multiple. It's a guy. It's a guy. <laughs> Jesus. Three SpongeBob quotes in a matter of minutes. Slow Rapid down. fire. Slow down. Um, yeah, I thought it was like multiple like assailants at first. Like I didn't realize it was just like the one guy. And like w- one thing like about like about the show in general is like uh we we praise like the some of the lighting and then at the same time just like why are shows so dark at the why? same time? Bad like, Batch I, has had why, very why dark do scenes. I need my brightness on my screen on my TV screen all the way like, up and still can't see shit? There yeah. are gorg there are gorgeous gorgeous shots mm-hmm. in this entire show and I love them and then sometimes I I wanted to see bug guy and I couldn't even tell if it was one bug guy two bug guys ten bug guys who knows how many bug guys. You know why it was so dark? Know. <laughs> they didn't want to show us Siler Solus, Solus's uh, Sil- wet hair. Silas Marner. He doesn't have hair. He's a bug. No, you don't. Bugs have hair. You ever see I a tarantula? At... That's why it was so. <laughs> that's why it was so dark. No, I'm good. That's why it was so wait, dark. They spared. They spared us from seeing the bug. Big bug. Spare the hair. I can't wait to see um, Echo's crosshairs, wet hair. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and wrecker <laughs> my god you guys are just making fun of things now what are you um, talking about? the uh, uh yeah so they get the guy uh they get the heck out of there and fennec obviously doesn't have the information offhand because why would she and like hunter and wrecker are literally just like huh <laughs> like, oh, why dude. would she ha- why would she have the information i swear these two are like they're such a good team. Like, are, are so like dumb. They're two desperate. brain cells between each of them, and <laughs> like, Hunter has so both old Max. Yeah. Lovingly, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I love I love them so much, but like they they are so dumb, like all the time, all the time, um, to the point where like Hunter is like ready to like march up the steps and like start like throwing hands with Fennec, and she just like lifts the ramp and he like falls off. <laughs> yeah, he forgot to get off. I loved that. <laughs> that was great. There were a lot yeah. of like little details like that in this episode, like little movements, little ticks. Mm-hmm. And that was probably my favorite one when she lifts it and he's still stepping on it. That's yeah. such a like that was, that's like that a was good really, detail. Yeah, it is. And then uh, she barely like leaves like the hangar, like b- almost like scratches the marauder. Good, good marauder <laughs> episode. We actually saw it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would have that would have been really that, she, she would have like, been the queen jerk the if she just like <laughs> like scrapes the side and <laughs> flies Jeez off after and she then, like, record just like points at the ship she just scratched the paint <laughs> and then and then hunter's like don't worry captain we'll buff out those scratches <laughs> you're good you're good you're good you're good, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> so who do we who do we That's think it. fennec is talking episode. to Oh, Asajj Ventress, 110 percent, a thousand oh, probably, billion, Asajj. probably. Please. Shadowy figure number one, yeah, or number number eight of, of the show. I don't know how many shadowy figures we, we've had. I know they they're always <laughs> pulling that. Trick. It's they're like always every that every trick. other like episode with like a dude on a hologram. It's like just half shown. You just see the blue outline and like a muffled voice. It's mm-hmm. always Bail Organa. So it's gonna be Bail yeah. Organa. Again. It's um it's Captain Rex actually talking about yeah. Bail Organa. So, so she calls him. She's like, what do you know about M counts? He goes, I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> That's it. They did that yeah, whole um, jump and nothing. I don't know. Too bad they don't just have like Ahsoka around. Mm, like yeah. she's not that just t- Rex doesn't well, just they, ask they, Ahsoka. Like they don't know it's a force related <laughs> thing. They, they don't know. True. That's the thing. But, like Rex well, is like, I've well, heard why she of it. Of then? I, I don't. I don't know. Maybe Fennec Probably knows. We don't know what Fennec Empire, knows. Maybe or... See, here's the thing. If we didn't see Ventress in the trailer, I was gonna say I, I would assume that maybe like Fennec is calling Boba. I think that would have been like yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, but also oh, like God. she didn't meet Boba until. Like, Are we gonna see Boba, Boba in the show? Mm. That's true. Probably not. True. You don't think so at this point? Which feels like a missed opportunity because Matt is the anti-fun. Person. I'm not the anti-fun guy. I'm Every the show. realist. That is anti-fun. Yeah. I will say, I guess I just don't get my hopes up for like random cameos. I would. That's not a random cameo, though. I mean, yeah, it, it is. sort of is. But okay. well, what, really. what plot relevance would Boba Fett have for the overall idea of the Empire's hunting down Omega? I mean, I guess they could hire him. That would be yeah. kind of cool. But, the, but then if you're going to hunt down Omega and you got, oh, hey, the, here's this kid who, who's also a clone. Who, who's also who's the exact sister. same type of clone that is Omega. And Let's also your kidnap age. Him. <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah. Just kidnap True. him. He's probably That's got a good the point. same thing. Yeah, maybe they're also after him. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. 
I don't think it's going to happen, but that would be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool to see like Boba Fett, but I don't think he's going to show up. Mm. We'll never no, know. I mean, I could be wrong. I've been wrong a lot. So, <laughs> so Jamie, I yeah. was just I saw this the other day, and I figured it'd be spicy to to share spicy. on here. So Joel Aaron, yes. the uh, director of cinematography for, and he works on the show. Yeah. Um, I saw him tweet the other day. Uh, Cause you know, all the, a lot of the bad batch creators like Jennifer Corbett, um, Joel Aaron, the Kiners, they do a lot of teasy tweets <laughs> to tease everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, that's what that means. Um, before the episode, they do like some little like uh, funny thing to scare us all. And he, he tweeted out the other day, no more teasy tweets from me after tonight's episode. Cause the story is so brilliant and I'm not even telling my wife and daughter what's about to happen. Exclamation mark. Unbelievable. He has a wife and daughter. <laughs> but like I mean, unbelievable he, he broke his that... nda with his family <laughs> in a way <laughs> i guess that is a teasy okay. tweet so uh yeah i mean that's enough of like a teasy tweet it's enough that's also very courteous of them because of the first the fact that like if they are super like interactive with like uh, social media with fans and then suddenly there's mm -hmm. just nothing regarding the show it's just like oh my god what's happening at least like you know and a statement was made <laughs> to go with that i don't know if it's a coincidence or mm -hmm. not but um you know, he's ending his TZ tweets. And as we know, a lot of people before the season, Pete got some screeners early on to see the first eight episodes. Mm -hmm. oh, so this is now, so this weird. is the final one of that. Mm. I don't know if we're it goes with that. We're in uncharted territory, folks. We're in uncharted territory. We're in bad territory, as the episode said. We're in uncharted territory. Um, but I thought it was funny that the screeners ended with this episode. Like you, last week was kind of like, you know, the big bang um, kind of thing. But maybe they were like, this kind of, this, this week ends on a big cliffhanger, I guess. <laughs> Hey, like... At least this time they didn't give him the full season, pretty much. Oh yeah, yeah that almost, was yeah. So that was an interesting kind of thing. That was definitely an interesting decision. So at least they gave him like half the season this time. So it's cool that will everyone will be pretty much flying in the dark yeah. now. So yeah, um, this is That's the way. Thank you for the comment. Thank you for the kind comment of uh, loving our show. Uh, do we think we AZ? Do we think it's odd that AZ doesn't know what M count is? That's a great question. Yeah, that's a actually. really good question. I'm gonna kick off with the fact that the Bad Batch are dumb and they probably didn't ask AZ. <laughs> or AZ, AZ, since he worked at um, the Camino facilities, probably had his memory wiped at some point. They probably yeah, he, he wiped did. his memory. He did. Because he really, did. It, after it, fives. Yeah, after oh, fives. Yeah. He just wiped. But so, also, like he was—he's just a medical droid, right? So I don't—I don't know if he would analyze like for. For like M count for like medical. Oh, well, he probably I analyzes for Jedi. I I, I think he oh, would maybe not. Maybe like could. maybe different like droids or different things. You have to tune it differently to find M count because it is like this ma magic type of magical type thing, right? Because it is in the Force, right? Yeah. So maybe uh, I mean, maybe maybe be more practical. I mean, the Kaminoans are pretty practical, like species. They're like, oh, we can just clone them, right? Like <laughs> a practical species. Yeah, yeah, I think that uh, a, a, a technical it. answer. I think that AZ may have known at some point, but again, his memory would have been wiped and mm -hmm. possibly they definitely do different sorts of um, research parameters like put in for each of the medical droids when they're actually like, you know, being used. Um, because I remember back in like season one um, when Omega is like snooping around like the Bad Batch is like barracks and AZ is with her. Uh <laughs> AZ is like, Omega, what are we doing? And she's like, uh, a research project. And AZ's like, I love research projects. And then he like picks up all the random crap around the room. The battle droid head. So, like, mm -hmm. He definitely has the capability to do like the research and has like that has like knowledge like locked away. But M count is probably like highly restricted like material that yeah. only the Jedi know and probably a very slim amount of Kimono and um, scientists knew. Hey, AZ is, is a VIP. That's but he true, got she... wiped. He got wiped yeah, after absolutely. fives. He, yeah. he was so... also just a random droid that fives kind of hijinks. Rode like and... a motorcycle. Yeah. Rode like a exactly. motorcycle. <laughs> hijinks. I like that. Not hijacked. Hijinks. Hijinks. <laughs> fives is playing tricks on this guy. It's like, hey, we're going to figure some shit out. <laughs> that's all he does. But yeah, that, that's a good question, though. Um, yeah, thank you. I, I, I like the I like the take that like that you guys just had like they're just dumb enough they didn't even ask we'll get to like the second to last episode and az be like m count i know what that I is and they're like was. we just sold our souls to try to find this out because <laughs> because like i mean yeah let's go they're they're missing they're missing tech right 
and he and, and is the one that would obviously know what was going on and literally dead. Yes. we're not that's not what i was about to say um what i'm about to say was the <laughs> fact that like tech would have been the one to check that, that first thing like he would have yeah. checked that source first the bad the rest of the bad batch they don't know how to research anything that you, you see the state that they're in. well they say that like, in this too that fee was like oh it took me a while to find that tech would have found it like yeah. faster yeah. Or more tech day, way, tech the, brain. the yeah. brains is the brains of the operation is down we got we got the the muscle the dude who can shoot really well and, <laughs> and the guy with good with the hair fine people <laughs> and the guy with soaking wet hair it'd be the equivalent of great hair great hair guy you if, know? if me chad and matt were doing this podcast right now yeah be like what the bad batch is right now <laughs> dude literally oh my uh, god be, i just be talking be about crocodiles and i took a shower so i got the wet hair so there you go <laughs> i just took a there shower. we go <laughs> uh, dibs on record <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair matt can be um i don't know crosser <laughs> yeah <Right>. sure <laughs> he's the mean one <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm the mean one. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, character of the week, AJ? Yeah, let me pull up the fancy. You, uh, the fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy smashy? Where is that? Oh, 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 character of the week. Brought to you by Chad. I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. So, character of the week. We've been doing this all year. So, I'll, except the first episode with Landry, which. I should like DM Landry and be like, "Hey, who was your character of the week for uh, the first three episodes?" Got to put in a vote. Yeah, <laughs> so we started it in our second episode of the, uh, these mm -hmm. the coverage of Bad Batch. We're now here. We're gonna tally it at the end of the year, as I said earlier. But Chad, who was your character of the week for this episode? It has to be the pit droid bartender. <laughs> <laughs> dude had a great hat. He showed I like up. That. I was like, "This guy, this guy's my dude. I want to hang out yep. in this guy's bar." You know? Well, hey, who would have thought? Melon Kid, John Melon Kid, and uh, <laughs> and now the Pitchroid bartender, uh, <laughs> the tent bartender. It's good. <laughs> oh, that's so a good reference. Jamie, uh, character of the week, uh, Fennec Shands, easily. Like, like I said earlier, this was, I think, her strongest appearance mm -hmm. in all of Star Wars so far was this episode. It showed her being completely like in her element, and I loved every single moment of it. It was good. Love Fennec. Uh, I hope we see more of her this season, but we'll see. see what I think goes. there's potential too, but I also think that there's potential of which, like, she literally did this one job, told whoever about the job, and it was just like, and she's that's out. It. Yeah, it's possible she might just not show up again, but you never know. Yeah, she'll Matt. probably show up again to like call them and be like, "Hey, I found this out." Yeah, here's your information. <laughs> Bye. But she's I, screwing I, them I, over. I th I, th I don't think she'll call them. I think it'll it'll be what it always is. Somebody's gonna hunt them down and like go because mm. you know like she gave she's like hey these guys are looking for m count and you know and like here's their information mm. so i i don't i don't think we'll ever see fennec again in this see in the series so. probably go. not probably not uh matt who was your character of the week uh the one croc with the initiative enough to pull hunter into the water there you go croc <laughs> like number that one answer Croc number one, the the OG the, Croc that we the saw. Croc. In the Croc, the, the Croc. Croc, yeah, the all Croc. the other Crocs. Croc number two, Glizer, what Croc. whatever they're called. What are they Grizzards. called? Grizzards. 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 Grizzard. Yeah. I like that. Anyway, um, Croc number one, the Croc one that was back in the trailer. <laughs> yep, the OG. I'm the OC. Gonna, I'm gonna go with Omega. You Let's guys all one. went with like a one-off. I'm gonna go with the continuation. Mm -hmm. uh, continuation character a main character yeah uh omega i i love the whole meditating thing as someone who like tries to meditate um but has difficulty i appreciated that um so i would have been like crosshair in the situation but um i could use a teacher like omega to show me how to meditate properly or gunji for that matter so um, omega is just the best like i think about i think about how great she is every week she's like a, a badass character but like a very like a big comfort character, a warm character. Of course, she's she's always so optimistic, and she's just like funny as well. Like it, she's just the perfect character for this show and for yeah. Star Wars. So. Like I said, she's like funnily wholesome. It's always like something's going wrong, and you can just rely on Omega to have like some kind of optimistic take that just makes you laugh and go. It's never a dull of moment. Course. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Whether it's like something funny, something just like <clears throat> there's always a memorable scene with her. Yeah, and um, I really hope. Once the show ends, I hope there's more with her story. Eventually, you'd think there have there would have to be. She's a kid. Yeah. There's a lot to do there, so I uh, I look forward to that. 
eventually. Yeah. But yeah. I do as well. Yeah. I, I really hope so. <clears throat> All right. Any last thoughts on this episode, guys? Uh, it was a good crocodiles. one. Crocodiles. Interesting. I knew you were gonna say crocodiles. But it was a good little mean... episode. It was the... An another solid episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just wish it was a uh, little, little brighter, but other just than that, a little bit. Turn up the brightness just a little bit, just please. And thank you, Joel. Joel, <laughs> Joel, Joel, we love your shots. Joel, we, we I, really I love, do. I, I love your work. Turn up the brightness. Just, 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 just a test. You want to see those gators? gators. I love you know, the well lit are. ones, but the dark ones, a little, a little bit more. Um, give us the gators. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, more gators. Anyway, <laughs> more gators. <laughs> But yeah, so thank you for joining us this week, Chad, um, for uh, hanging out with our absolute mess of a stream tonight. <laughs> uh, it's it's fine. It's it's not an HML unless it's like an hour late, pretty much. <laughs> That's right, true. Thank you. Um, and thank you to everyone who's hanging out in the chat with us tonight, uh, chatting live. If you're watching this on YouTube later, uh, thank you for sticking around to the end. If you're listening to this on your favorite audio listening platform, you can check this out on YouTube as well. Um, Obviously, it's not live then. I'm sorry, but hello from the past. Um, anyway, this has been the Holland Routers podcast. My name is Jamie alongside AJ and Matt. We'll be back next week with more Bad Batch coverage. Um, as I mentioned earlier as well, we are at PAX East this weekend, and we are doing a panel on building another Star Wars game. You'll get a full recap, at least um, from us eventually on our social media. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time on the Holland at Marauders podcast. Oh.